Hey folks, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Let's do a soil experiment. If you've been gardening for any amount of time, perhaps you have encountered the question, what do I do with my old potting soil? I've got these pots here. These are from previous years and they've just been sitting out on the side of my house, gathering weeds, gathering uh, critters that live in there, who knows what's in that soil. Can you recycle that stuff? Well, I have a video that talks about recycling soil and uh, I don't do any of the, the things that people say you're supposed to do. Um, I just recycle my soil. But what if you know you've got some seeds or weeds or vermin or disease in your potting mix and you want to recycle it? Well, there are different ways that you can sterilize your soil that are all out there on the internet. We're gonna try some of those today in a side-by-side -side experiment. So let's state our objective. Our objective is to demonstrate the difference between old nasty potting soil that is not sterilized side-by-side -side with soil that is sterilized. And we'll see what the difference is. I'm going to dump everything into this uh, cloth pot and that should give us enough of a, of a soil to work with. I'm going to try to take out any big leaves, big sticks, but I'm going to leave it pretty much just as we find it. And I'm going to mix everything up in here. We've got some earthworms to save first. We don't want to kill them. I'm going to take this one as well, take off all this organic matter on top, and dump it in. To make sure that we have a mixture that is almost certain to be filled with seeds, I'm going to go to the garden and we're going to fish out some soil. I know there's seeds in there. i got weeds all in my garden without mulch. The weeds come up and show themselves. So I know we've got weed seeds there. Let's go get some. Okay, right here in my garden, I have a relatively bare spot where some of my uh, uh, crops didn't come up. But I can see weeds in there, so we're going to pull up some of this dirt here. And we're going to put it in a bucket and mix it in with our sample. That ought to do. So that's the soil we've taken out of the garden itself. All right, once we mix this up, we want a real even sample. We want it to be mixed up so that every tray has a little bit of everything in it. And we're going to take four of these trays, or we're going to take three of these trays. And in the first tray, we're going to put this mixture, and it's going to be our control. We're just going to leave it. And we're not going to do anything to it. The second tray will be the one we put in the microwave, or in the oven, or in the bo with boiling water. We're going to treat this. We're going to sterilize this in any way we can think of. And then the third tray, we're going to use for store-bought potting soil straight out of the bag and we're going to use that also to compare side by side fresh potting soil compared to treated potting soil compared to untreated potting soil so let me get this all mixed up i have these seed starting trays these are actually trays that i've used in the past for starting microgreens uh, they have drainage holes drilled in them so that we can uh, have well watered soil and it drains well so these are perfect for what we need so I need to fill two of these with the soil from our, our uh, sample here. I'm going to have soil that we're going to treat, the soil that we're going to leave untreated, and then in this tray we're going to place some bagged potting mix as a uh, comparison to our two recycled soils. Now I know that these trays are not sterile. I know that they are uh, dirty. They're all used. That shouldn't, that shouldn't bother us in this experiment because, well, we're, we're recycling used soil. We're just about there. All right. I'm going to use a fresh bag of store-bought potting soil. And this stuff is supposed to be weed-free. We're just going to fill up this other tray with this stuff. Now we need to clearly label our experiment. Now, this is not scientific, if you're scientific minded. Well, you're probably seeing all kinds of errors in here. All right, we're gonna clearly label our 
trays here. We're going to label with soil um, control, soil sterile, and potting mix. That way we know what we're looking at over time. Now the first method people advocate to sterilize uh, soil, potting mix, th so that you can reuse it a following year is to bake it in an oven at 350 to 400 degrees for about 20 or 30 minutes. Well, we're gonna put it in the oven. Fortunately, my wife is recovering from a surgical operation today, so she doesn't know I'm doing this. It's the perfect time to take care of this task. So let's do it. I can't put the tray into the oven, so I'm gonna to have to transfer it to a baking sheet. Now, I can already see the challenge with this method is that I have gallons and gallons and gallons of soil to reuse every year. This is not very practical for me. It's not an efficient method, and I don't think that I could, uh, I don't think I could, I could practically use this method. I've got too much soil. But we're gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna bake it. It's probably not gonna smell real good, but that's what we're gonna do in the name of science. I'm gonna wash this out real well, and I'm gonna sterilize this as well, and uh, that will give us at least some, some semblance of scientific uh, integrity going on here. So let's do that now. It's like baking brownies. It's a lot lighter than it was before. Let's take this outside. That's pretty hot. Now if we were being really, really scientific here, we would be doing more experiments at once. We would do oven treated, we would do boiling water treated, we would do maybe some hydrogen peroxide tre treatment on a, on a third sample, and we would do a side-by-side -side comparison of all these methods. But that's not what we're interested in right now. What I'm mainly interested in is seeing if we get weeds and sterilized soil, just as a concept. and how many weeds are going to show up in these other batches. So we're going to get this in the tray and we're going to nuke it. Now there's steam well down into the bottom of this. It's hot all the way through. There should be no living creatures in here at the moment. Once again, this experiment is only to see how sterile soil does next to untreated soil. We're not comparing sterilization methods, we're just doing the concept here. Alright, now I've got to clean this. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to microwave the soil. Now, there's little moisture left in that soil after putting it in the oven for an hour, but there's still some. And the idea of micro, uh, microwaving is to generate heat by activating water molecules and generating steam. Uh, there's enough of the water that's remaining in here that we should get at least a little bit of steam. But here's the deal. If there are seeds that are still viable, or if there are microorganisms that survived 400 degrees for an hour, then the microwave, if they're still living, they have water content. And the microwave will, uh, will, will zap those. So we're going to do that. Now I've read that you should microwave your soil until it reaches certain temperatures. We're just going to microwave it for uh, two and a half minutes. That should raise it up to uh, well over 200 degrees. And we can check that temperature with a meat thermometer, a food thermometer. And uh, that's where you want to get with your target temperatures is 200-230 degrees, something like that. Alright, let's see what we got. Yes, we are now well over 200 degrees. Now the next thing we're going to do is boil some water and we're going to get 1.7 liters because that's the maximum I can boil in that electric kettle. And once that water is boiled we will pour that over our soil just to make sure. All right, now we have boiling water and I've set this up so that we can just pour our boiling water over this. This soil has now been baked. It has been nuked in the microwave and now we're gonna 
practice one of the other methods they say that you can use to sterilize your soil and that is to mix it up with boiling water. We're just going to pour it over here and saturate this soil with this boiling mess. If there's anything left living in here at all, we need to study that and find out the secret to life. Mission accomplished. So I'm going to place these three trays now our control, our sterile soil, and our potting mix right here as if I were just planting potted plants in my normal environment. And we're going to water them in and let them grow and see what happens. What I expect to happen is that in the control we'll get weeds because that has a lot of weed seed and stuff in there from our garden, from old potting soil, and there's even compost mix into here from our compost pile that was put into my recycled potting soil. This is our potting mix. This is advertised to not have weeds in it. So I don't expect a whole lot of weeds in here. But what I expect to see is some weeds in all of them, driven by the wind or just by the dog walking by, by critters crawling over it. Uh, we'll see. But this one, the sterile one in the middle, we'll watch and see what happens and see if we can prove the advantage of sterilizing our soil. So there's our experiment set up. So part one is a full video showing you how we set up our experiment. But the answer is just going to be to take a look at it every now and then. And that doesn't warrant a whole video. So if you want to see how this turns out, I'm going to post it right up there. When we're done, there will be a link. And it will go to one of my gardening Q&As. And we will answer the question, Does uh, what is the advantage of sterile potting soil when you recycle it? Or something like that. So I'll put the link down below in the description once it's done and I'll put a link up there so that you can go and watch the results when it's finished. But we're not done yet, we just started. So if you don't see that link up there, it means the experiment is still going on. Watch my channel and we'll update you with a peek at it every now and then. And please subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate your subscriptions. And uh, follow us on Instagram, on Facebook. Happy gardening to you. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.